Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Today we're featuring a 2014 BMW 550i X-Drive M Sport sedan. Uh, it's a clean title, clean Carfax, single owner car. We can finance this car through Alaska Federal Credit Union. We can extend the warranty out to 100,000 miles and we welcome trades. So we bought this car because it's got a sticker price of over $90,000. It's got $26,000 of optional equipment and I think every option they had available except for night vision and uh, rear entertainment, if I'm not correct, if I'm not mistaken. So we love the Alpine white in this body style. Uh, they put a new V8 in this in 2014, which we like. Um, it's just so much car. I probably won't be able to get to all the options because I'll probably forget some, but you can tell it's got front parking sensors, that black dots uh, lane assist blind spot. Um, it's got adaptive xenon lights, um, it, it's even got high HID driving lights, M Sport wheels. Um, it's the executive package car, so it's got massaging seats, heated seats, cooled seats. It's got comfort access, which you can tell by the ribs on the door handle here. Um, the M Sport is the wheels, of course, the body kit. You've also got the black trim around the wheels. Um, so rear parking sensors, backup camera, it's got a, um, a surround view camera also that shows you 360 degrees uh, around the car. It has a power rear lift gate. It has, uh, it has rear fold down seats. So you can see by this and this, that'll drop your seat to 60, 40 rear folding, uh, fold down rear seat, hit that. Um, so soft closed doors. If you're not familiar with them, it's not, it wasn't too common on 5 Series, but if you close that three quarters of the way, it closes itself. So I think that started out originally on the uh, S-Class Mercedes. And um, it's an uncommon option on a 5 Series, a uh, common option on a 7 Series. So the lighting package, you can see, uh, now that you've opened the doors, uh, no dents or dings on this thing. It's really clean cosmetically. Uh, the wheels are all in really good shape. So uh, the, the leather was, a um, couple things about the interior, the leather was upgraded to a Napa leather which is super soft and super supple. You can see it's just a higher quality level. Uh, it's also got customized trim on it. It's very, very clean, no signs of wear. You have Bang & Olufsen sound which is a, I think it took the executive package to like an $8,000 um, option. So you've got rear sunshades here for rear climate, you have one in the, on here. Um, so again, there's your trim. Bang & Olufsen sound, this is a massaging seat, that's not common on this. Again, being a sound system, you're embadging. So again, uh, upgraded leather, these are ventilated seats and heated seats and massaging seats. The Mocha was part of the upgrade. It's got black carpet in it, so. Here's your, uh, I mean all your, it's got ceramic controls, that was another upgrade. We do have two master keys. Uh, the keyless go means you just have to have the, the um, or as BMW calls it comfort access, you just have to have the key in the proximity. Um, so you've got your aux input here, your USB. Uh, your glove box is here. We've got books. Uh, you can see the door trim again, another, uh, the BNO speaker. Um, and this is cool, the BNO, when you turn the stereo on this tweeter in the center, pops up. It's an incredible sound system, it's just ridiculous. Uh, M Sport steering wheel with paddle shifters, an upshift here, a downshift here. Uh, these are also, I, I don't know what these are um, or how they're separated, but you have a dynamic cruise, you have collision warning, you have a blind spot, you have lane change assist, you've got a pedestrian warning, um, active cruise. Uh, I mean, these, I think there's only four options here. There may be a fifth, but I, I don't think so unless that was heads up display. Uh, you've got sport settings, so you can change this from sport to sport plus to comfort, to comfort plus, that changes your setting and echo. Um, and there's a significant difference between sport plus, that turns your traction control off. Um, you've got heated, whoops, you have heated and ventilated seats for the driver's side and the passenger side. Um, 
so that's nice. Do a lot of climate control, of course. Uh, you've got a very complex um, interface here as far as your screen goes, so you can hit that button and you've got a 360 degree view of your car, um, your navigation, you've got Bluetooth, uh, you have a very complex media interface. Uh, it's HD radio with satellite radio. Um, super nice sound, as I mentioned. Uh, this also you can use to to navigate stuff, and then uh, it's just your typical iDrive. Again, ceramic um, control, so you've got that black shiny finish, which is nice. Um, backup camera, which I don't think I showed you. Um, and there's just so much gear on this. $26,000 in optional equipment. You do have home link here, so three buttons, programmable security gates and garage door openers. Uh, you do have just a standard uh, sunroof. Um, I'm sure I'm missing something. You do have a leather wrapped M Sport steering wheel. I mean, there's just so much gear on this car. It's just ridiculous. Um, I suppose that's covered it. So these typically start out about $60,000. They typically range um, at MSRP about 70 to 75. Um, 80 would be considered a high option car. Um, 90 is considered what we would think just over the top. So it is, it's an all wheel drive. Um, I mean, we're just in love with this car. It's covered under the BMW factory warranty until April of 2017 or 100,000 miles. Um, and then we can extend that out for no, April 17th or 50,000 miles with the service package and we can take that out to 100,000 miles. If you've got questions or would like additional information, please feel free to contact us and we can be reached at 503-227-2354. Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.